Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to be using Brood For You. So I've just bought this. Um, when I saw it in the catalogue, I thought, oh, excellent. I have two sons and Ed, and they're all beer drinkers, as am I, to be fair. Um, and I thought these would make probably all their cards forevermore. Um, it comes with a die set, but I didn't buy them. So let me show you it in the catalogue. Uh, uh, so all the bundles are shown together. So a bundle, you save 10% on buying them singularly. Uh, there it is on the first page. Um, so it comes with the dies and the dies cut out all of these images it comes cuts come on, can't see that cuts out the froth as well as all um the glasses and you've got some extra little elements there where it will cut out um to go inside as well and add little bubble details it's got hops and it's got some little leaves now i decided that i didn't need the dies because they've all got a nice outline I thought, oh, I'll just cut them out of my scan and cut. I didn't didn't really think I need the extra little bits. And that was one of the reasons for buying my scan and cut was I was like, I'll save my money um, on some dies. So this is the first set where I have decided to do that. Um, so I'll just show you it in the catalogue. It's on page 83. And you can get some inspiration as well from the catalogue of ways of ways you can use it and you can see where those um die cut elements are and i kind of looked at that and i thought nah i'm, I'm not i'm not bothered I'm, I'm happy to just um cut them out myself so the stamp set is 17 pounds the bundle was 36 so i've saved almost 20 quid um by not buying the die set um so and I'm keeping a little bit of a running total of when I when I save money. So I'll get to a point where the scan and cut's paid for itself. It'll probably take years, but you know. So I've got a bit of whisper white. Now it's, it goes in the scan and cut that way because it's like a 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to put it in that way. So I thought I'd stamp a load of these images um, and cut them out. That was my thoughts. So we'll do the outlines first. Probably don't need that big one. There we go. And I thought this would be it could be a wine glass. It doesn't have to be a beer glass. We drink Belgian beer a lot, so we do use these. We do have these fancy shaped glasses as well. So. I liked that. That's not going to go. Oh, I tell you what, that wee glass will probably go on here. Yep. So I'll pick that one up with that. Yep. There we go. Don't need that one just yet. So I'm going to stamp the outlines and then I'm going to stamp the insides. It is photopolymer, so it does need. Um, stamp that underneath i'm going to use an old catalog because i want it bigger than my stamp mat so i'm just using memento just a black height line is all i want there we go i might do a couple of each what i'm going to do i'm just going to do two rows and I'm going to cut one row with a margin and one row without a margin, just so that I can see, see the difference. Oh, what an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Hey ho. It's only paper. 
don't know why I'm leaving that big space there. Just not thinking properly. I might just get away with that one. It's leaving a bit of a space between those two so it's easier to isolate it on the scan and cut. Right, let's do this one again and not pull it out. And that's the thing that happens sometimes with photopolymer stamps is they kind of stick to the uh, to the stamp pad and it does sort of pull them up. So, yeah. And this is brand new out the pack. I've not used it yet. So, there we go. I think I'm going to use the glasses more than the big jug. I'm probably this glass and that glass more. Don't tend to use handle glasses quite so much. We were on when we were on holiday. I actually got asked if I wanted a handle glass or not. It's like no. They're really heavy, apart from anything else, and I do find it quite hard sometimes with my with my hands to pick them up. So they're, they're all stamped out. So now we need to fill them. So I'm going to wash my stamps, wash them, stamp and scrub my stamps, and then, um, and then change them over to uh, the inners. So I've got... The, the liquid inner we haven't got one for the for the big jug um we just got them for the glasses and we've got bubbles as well um to sort of go over the top so i thought i might i might do that as well but we're just going to concentrate on the inners now i'm i'm thinking pumpkin pie as a good color for my beer don't know we'll see what it looks like so think that up. I might see my head. There we go. It's quite light really that. That's okay. Just trying to wonder if maybe Cajun Cat Craze might be a good one the beer we like real ale as well so i'm wondering a bit of cajun craze let's see what that looks like might give us a nice good real ale and sometimes belgian beers are, are darker as well so let's try that one. Oh yeah i like that i think that's a really nice colour for beer. I wonder what it's like stamped off second generation. Gives us a lighter one. It's not bad. I do prefer it darker. Um, gonna go back to pumpkin pie. Might be that my pumpkin pie needs re-inking. Which I could do. There we go. Yeah, that's a better colour. Yeah, I think it needs re-inking. And um, I could use my my blends to colour this in. So I've got got some soft suede and crumb cake and pumpkin pie.
So we'll call that hashtag fail. It might look all right when it's when it's um, cut out. So now I just want to put a little bit of froth on the beer. And this is where I've got to be careful on the scan and cut to make sure I've got my lines. Do I get, will it fit this glass as well? Quite like the frothy beer. So let's do a wee glass. At the top here. So they're ready for cutting out. So what you need, if you've got a scan and cut, is you need to make sure that there's no broken lines. And there are a few that I can see. So I'm gonna take, and um, I'm just gonna, just looking around here, doesn't seem to be any broken lines here, but obviously there is on this, on this bit here, just draw around it. You can use a pencil. I'm using this pen to fill in my stamping as much as anything else, actually. So that looks that looks cool. That one, because it overstamped, seems to be all right. This one's very broken. So can fill in. I so say you can use a pencil and then you can rub it out. So there they are. So I'm going to go to my scan and cut and cut them out. And I'm going to cut them out with no outline and them out, I think, with a bit of outline. Of course, I might forget that when I get down. Now I have got some bubbles as well and it was whether or not I wanted to add some bubbles bubbles darling I'm not sure I'm gonna leave it for now I can always add them afterwards so there we are they're all cut out and that was probably quicker than if I'd used all the individual dies I reckon the actual cutting was a minute it only literally took me a minute to scan them and tell the machine to cut. Now the scan and cut doesn't cut out sort of landlocked spaces. So, you know, it's not a perfect um, solution. And um, the dies I'm assuming will have, um, let me double check that. I assume the dies cut them bits round the, round the handles. It was 80 something wasn't it yeah yeah it does so the die would have cut out those bits there but i'm okay with that i can i could come in with a craft knife or a pair of scissors and cut them if if i wanted to but um so that is let's do the difference on that so that is cut without an outline and that's cut with like a little white border which is how the die would cut I imagine most of our dies cut with a little um, border I quite like them without they're not like proper die cuts I like them without so you can see there oh no they've both got outlines let's do like for like so with a margin without it's personal pre preference really what you like and the the other difference is a die gives you like a little bit of a beveled edge where this is a straight cut and um so you don't get that but again i don't mind that i did cut out the bottles with it even cut that little bit um because it goes around an outline it cut a little a little um bit around where the ink was but I can just cut that bit down and um, 
that could be a little bit of a straw in there I don't know this one's not too bad I can reuse this one because it's only a tiny bit there hardly notice it's almost like it's another little shadow on the glass so yeah and that cut out doesn't look so it looks almost earthenware I think you know like a, a terracotta pot like a Greek urn so um yeah quite liking those so now I'm going to make a card okay so I had a little play rather than bore you with my little play this is what I came up with I've got the Ed seal of approval so I'm gonna redo it because you know mail cards in your stash are quite handy I think so I've gone for a black base so that's half a sheet basic black cut in half scored in half I've gone for basic white matte one for the outside one for the inside I've picked out my four beers that I'm going to use so this card had the ones that were directly cut and these are the ones with a little bit of a white outline and you'll see that I cut the um, middle of that out I'll be doing that again I have used this so there's excuse my arm stripes and splatters um, this is a new purchase I liked it I liked the splatters um, I thought they'd be good in my junk journals um, and um, and I thought well a bit like splatters of beer um, so um, I embossed the center of that leaving it leaving it flat top and bottom I have to make sure I put it in straight leaving it flat top and bottom uh, so I will just get that embossed and there we have it so I've got a bit of an aversion to just smooth white backgrounds that's why I love me embossing folders and then I added um, a uh, a scored line to it as well I'm not sure if you can see that so I've got my scoreboard and I just scored so kind of looked at so I kind of went there that's sort of one over the three and a half and then at three and a half so let me repeat that three and a half and then the one over three and a half which of course is three and five eighths so I did I did that and then once I got the score board out I may as well do the score lines so I decided to do score lines on the inside thought it's a nice little touch using your score board um, in this way is I, I think a really quick easy way of adding a bit of detail and interest I do it often and I really like it so I'm gonna carry on doing it <laughs> there we go so that's that ready So that's that bit. Now let me show you how I cut this bit. So I actually just brought in my uh, rather cut up um, bit of me um, die cutter. And because uh, I've got a glass mat under this, but I'm not bringing it out. And then I just used craft knife and I just. Just went round the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
So a little bit like if you were drawing a line, a little bit at a time, turning the shape. So it's I find quite easy to do. I wouldn't like to do the entire shape this way. I've seen little knives that you can buy that you put on your finger to do this sort of thing. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to do that. The video to show you looks really easy, but I'm sure in reality it's not. Right. So do need to go around, just go around a couple of times. And it's quite easy to follow where you'd previously cut because you've got like a ridge. You're in like a trench in the cardstock. And as I don't, don't lift my point at any time. It's okay in that. To come out, there might be the odd little bit that you need to go back over. So we'll go down there a little bit more. And then there's that bit in the corner there. And that is how I did that. So that's that done. So then, just move that out of the side for now. So then I wanted something. So I kind of placed, placed my, uh, my glasses on top. And thought oh, it really needs something behind so i have used this sheet of paper and this is from rustic harvest and um and i quite liked it and i thought i don't know kind of reminded me of hops and things so that was that took out the largest plain um circle die and uh, I didn't want the whole circle, so I just snipped a bit of the DSP off. In previous years, we've had, because I remember I did it with the, um, the whiskey glass and decanter, and something a little bit similar. And um, I used, we had some really nice tartan, and I used that which would have been quite nice. But using current products, I think I might still have a little bit of that tartan left somewhere. I did like it. So I am just going to run that through my die cutter. So that's my little, my little circle done. And then we need our sentiment. And I'm using my stamperators for this because I sometimes find with Memento I need I need to stamp it more than once. So I quite like to use Memento for this. So I just need a scrap of basic white, which I did get ready. I did get ready. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I'm just going to pop this on there. I know that it stamps about there. So I'm going to put that there. Yeah, we are sorted. So I'm just going to put, you put a stamp box underneath here. It's kind of just perfect height. I don't know if that was designed that way or not. I don't know. So do that. Give it a stamp. It's photopolymer, so I do have underneath here the little bit of sponge that comes with your stamperatus. 
it actually stamps the once quite well then we do it second time and then it's perfect because I, I just think sometimes it's really easy to over stamp um, photopolymer and with um, memento I do find I need a second go so that's why I did that and then I'm going to cut it out with one of the Taylor tag dies so the second smallest is a good size so I'm going to cut one of these out and then I'm going to cut one in black as you can see cut a second one in black um, to mat behind and I've got somewhere in the crafter lounge I cut out some black circles so they're already cut out ready so I just need to cut that out and the black one so they're cut out and I just need to poke the holes out because I haven't cleared the die, so they just tend to stay in there. It's fine. There we go. So that just needs to be stuck together like so. So a bit of glue. Too much glue on that it came out far too far too quickly there there we go i'm going to leave that bit there for the next bit so just stick them on top there and then we need a i'm going to pick up a bit of glue from my From my spreader put round here oh, my spreader dropped there we go. move it out of the way out of the way then it can't cause any danger and then we just need one of these round things there we go I'm going to use my tweezers to pick it up. Stick it on the end there. And I have used a bit of retired tired twine here for this. Now you could, could use white twine, could use white twine coloured black. Um, but this is, you buy twine, I just find it lasts forever. So this was a double pack of Halloween twine years ago, absolutely years ago. I think I ended up buying this on clearance. So I've used the black and grey. I'm going to use the black and pumpkin pie for this because I thought that would go nicely with the, um, the colour of the beer. So cut a bit off. I'll say use what you got. For these block hots we're supposed to use current products only, but I don't think anybody will don't think they'll sack me for a little bit of twine. Hope not. And this was my suggestion for the um block hop theme as well, masculine, because I knew I had my son's birthday. And I wanted it in advance of normal because I was going on holiday. So, um, so yeah. So I'm making this. And August blog hop's not even gone out yet. <laughs> so I'm making this in August for a September birthday. But I've got another male birthday, my godson. I'm actually 17, but I imagine he'd like, he'd, he'd like a beer. He might not, but he's getting one. <laughs> there we go. The tails are too big. 
but that's okay. I'll trim them when I'm done. But I quite like that. I think that will look nice. So let's put this, let's put this together. So we need to glue this down. There's my little spreader. Have I got enough glue on my little spreader? No, but I have at least not wasted that bit of glue. So, sort of going to centre it between the lines. Mm, yeah, up a bit, Jess. Up a bit, down a bit. Like golden shot, that's showing me age. Yeah. And I'm going to stick that on there now because um, it'll be harder once I've got dimensionals on it. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake, Jess. going to sort of do the same sort of configuration as I did before. Like so. So let's get these stuck. So the top one's going to be on dimensionals. This one's got a frothy beer. This one's got more of a mix of colours. So they'll both look different. And this is the one with the margins around the images. So now we'll have all that. I'm going to snip. I'm going to snip this here so that that Long thin bit can go down the stem of the glass, and then we'll just have a little thin bit go along the bottom. Didn't cut that very well, Jez. Okay. I think once you've thought of a design, it's then really easy to like mass make them. So you've got got some ready. Go and then we'll stick him down as well. Yeah, I do like it with that um, with that colour twine. Stick one up there, one down there. 
one in the middle on the end. Probably a bit of overkill there. But I do like to make sure they don't come off. Um, Straight, right, let's cut these little ends off. There we go. So now we just need to finish the bit off in the middle. A little bit of strainus there. Fluff from the twine. So I just did a little bit of stamping there in the corner so I'm going to do that so I've still got my beer glass and the beer mounted I'll just stick that in the corner there we go There we go. There we go. Nice little finishing touch. And then we can just stick that in the middle and we're done so that is my masculine card for the blog hop my son's birthday card it could be both my son's birthday card i could save but i might make james it's not till november slightly different um i could send one to my brother actually to be fair i could keep the second one for my brother and make my godson something maybe a little bit more appropriate for a 17 year old although i'm sure he drinks beer although actually my boys didn't uh, didn't drink beer at 17 they were a bit late comers to the joys of beer there we go so that's my cards hope you like that um hope you're uh, Go and check out the blog hop if you haven't already. It would have been yesterday when this is being filmed. Um, yeah, I'll link down below to all the products that I've used. And um, yeah, hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be with you again with another video very, very soon. Okay, bye for now.